I'm giving you an inside view to how i um, building my own WordPress website. I'm creating as I go along. I'm editing as I go along. I'm updating. I'm learning. And I just thought I would give you an inside view. I'm planning for the year 2020. I'm building a WordPress website from scratch. And I love it. This is a view to my back end of my WordPress website. I'm in my WordPress admin area. And Halloween, let me see here, Halloween costumes. This link right here, I already have it opened. I'm building, I'm starting with the holiday Halloween costumes. And I'm going to each week gradually add web pages, build web pages to my website. I'm building an affiliate commission based WordPress website. I'm not doing drop shipping as of yet. I'm building an affiliate commission based website. As you can see here, I'm tweaking it. I'm, I'm making changes. This is a block. These are companies that I do business with, HalloweenCostumes.com, the Halloween spot. I don't put the .com at the end because when people click on that link, and I'm going to show you right here. You know what? Hold on one moment. I'm going to show you right there. When people click... I just want that to open. Hold on, guys. Okay. I thought I went back far enough. This is my storebuy.shop website. And when I click on the letter H here, or here, it opens up in a new tab, and I'm building from scratch a WordPress website. My own vision, and I'm going to click on the word Halloween, which will then open up another tab that brings you to this page. The reason why I don't have .com at the end is because when someone clicks on this link, they're not being brought to, for this example, HalloweenCostumes.com. It's opening up another tab to bring them to a page of HalloweenCostumes.com Christmas Halloween costumes, as you can see here. Adult Christmas Halloween costumes. Halloween costumes. Adult Christmas. Do you see that? That's just my vision. That's how I want to build this specific web page on my website. They all don't have to be the same. But for Halloween, this is the format I will be following. All these blue ones here, I'm changing into colors and I'm tweaking it, I'm making it better. So that's why I don't have the .com at the end of any of these, the HalloweenSpot.com, Amazon.com, because when people click on them, they're being brought to another web page within my website. I don't want to lie. I want them to be brought to this page and then see, oh, these specific products are from HalloweenCostumes.com. Now here's a very important tip, information to share with you. Never use a company's domain name in your created URL. Because years ago I learned this. You see here how it says, uh, I have Amazon Adult Halloween. That's just like regular Halloween. And then I have Amazon Adult slash Men Christmas. People understand this is a list of Halloween online shopping costumes for every occasion. And this is my format, my design that I feel like putting together. I'm building on it for this specific topic. I don't use .com at the end of Amazon because you're not allowed to. And I, my account years ago was closed and they had me 
I worked hard to get that reinstated. You're not allowed to use a domain name in a URL, guys. So take your time, learn how to use WordPress, and I suggest build your own WordPress website from scratch. Yeah, it took me a couple of years to get here, and I thought I would be a lot further, but the payoff is so much more worth it in the long term, guys. I'm ridding the middleman, and I'm building a website. I have a lot to share. If you want to continue to learn and watch me build a successful WordPress website from scratch, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for future videos. I hope you learned something from this example and I wish you a lot of luck. Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.